Right, okay, first shot of the morning before I get onto anything about what this driver is like. We're going at the 150 marker, centre of the fairway. If it goes into the uh, bunkers, then so be it. Nice, easy swing. Slower than that one. Hopefully it's got enough carry. It was tight to the left than I thought, but that's a decent start. Now it's fair to say I do love a marketing claim at least. And them claims, well, they seem to get bigger and bolder every year from manufacturers. And it's no different with today's release. Right, nice and easy and into the heart of the green. Has it got enough legs? It's right in the middle of the green. Oh, a little bit short, pitched and stopped. Decent start. This club is interesting. And it's got marketing claims, of course. And as with any review we do, we'll be putting those claims to the test and see if any of them become actually factual. Now, the driver comes from a brand that has continued to, uh, well, surpass my expectations, let's say, this year, but mightily impressed with what they've released. It's an awkward one. Just sit down. Just sit down. Do you know what? That's not bad because these clubs are also part of a review that I'm doing from that same brand. So there's a little bit of a clue because the eagle eyed amongst you might have already spotted the iron and that little wedge that I played. They're a little bit different. Now this driver is from Cleveland and like I said, their products this year have been so, so impressive. In fact, their high wood, their three high wood, that cross between a hybrid and a fairway wood is, uh, well, I think one of the highlights of 2022 in terms of product release. The question is, is this driver going to meet those same levels of performance, if you like? It did things particularly well, particularly interesting for average golfers that struggle with certain elements of the game. And I think this driver could do exactly the same. Now, this would be an interesting par. How annoying is that? Right, okay, so the first thing to note is this driver is not new to the market. This is the Cleveland Launcher XL Lite. So the question is, and why are you reviewing it so late in 2022? Well, I suppose a simple answer to that question is quite simply, I've only just recently got my hands on it, but it was also mightily impressive. I would not featured this driver this year on the channel, and I felt that I was really doing an injustice by not letting you know my thoughts on this driver, because they are ultimately impressive. But it's why this driver impresses me that is key to this review. And I'll also say it's incredibly well priced. That's a really, really straight drive with very little uh, effort put in. This face is quite hot in my opinion. And that's one of the interesting claims that Cleveland make. So before we go too much further into this review, I'm always interested to know how many of you out there are literally trying Cleveland product right now. I don't care what it is, whether that be their wedges, which have been very good, their hybrids, their fairways, their irons, their halo irons, or the driver in this case. I'd really love to know if you're giving them a go and if they've made their way onto your radar. And more importantly, what are you thinking of them right now? Are you as impressed with this brand as I am in 2022? Now, the second box ticked along with that price tag is also the way this thing looks, because every time I see a lower price point, I always start to get concerned in terms of what I'm going to get in terms of quality. And I've got to say, Cleveland Launcher XL range looks superb and not just this driver. Everything, as you know, is extremely well put together. There's some great shaft options and it's just built with good components. But it's priced well, it looks well, but it all depends on how it performs. And of course, there's that bold marketing claim. And that claim obviously relates to distance when it comes to driver, it simply has to. And it's about the face, it's about the frame, and it's about almost a double trampoline in effect. And I've got to say, so far, this thing has performed incredibly well in terms of what I've done out here on the golf course, but I've also got a little bit of dry ball data to see if that rebound frame actually works. Now, in essence, of course, we all know that, uh, well, the claims they can make, but 
limitations are in place and they can't exceed those so they can only do so much but what i will say is does this trampoline effect have any impact on ball speed in my opinion what it does is it makes cleveland's performance in this driver just as good as any other that i have tried and if you look at some dry ball data then there's evidence to back that up if i'm hitting any drives around that sort of 240 mark with 2000 revs of spin launching at 16 degrees then we're hitting some good numbers and that's exactly what we achieved with this XL light driver in hand. So the claims are bold, they're obviously excessive, that's what marketing claims are, but there's an element to them that at least shows that these ball speeds are right up there with anything that I have tested this year. So for me, I'll go with you Cleveland, I'll buy into it, this double rebound effect, it certainly gets that ball out there. Now the other thing that's very much different to what I've seen as being the norm, at least anyway, is uh, a counterbalance system, which is in the shaft in this Cleveland XL launcher light driver, and that's an eight gram weight that is effectively placed in the butt end of the shaft. That counterbalance is effectively making the head feel lighter. Does it feel that way? Yes, it probably does actually. It's something that um, in previous reviews and I've likened it to when you use a lighter shaft is that for me, it encourages just a slower swing. The idea being that you're able to, with a lighter head, you're generating more club head speed, therefore more ball speed and therefore more distance. Again, I can't really quantify that. All I can tell you is that it's, uh, I can't noticeably feel it. All I can tell you is the light head is definitely something that is noticeable. And if that's a product of the counterbalance system, then uh, it works. Can we keep finding fairways with this driver is the question. There's a real high launching ball. And yes, the answer, the answer is yes, we're going to find the right side of the fairway. I mean, it's just, it, it does things very, very easily indeed. I, I mean, quantifying forgiveness again is something that's impossible to do almost. Um, we're finding in and around the centre of that club face today, what I feel when I'm out here on the fairway is, like I said, that I'm swinging very, very easy indeed. I'm not putting a great deal of effort in, but we still seem to be generating the ball speeds off the club face and the distance down fairway. So therefore, that coupled with the dry ball data, it suggests that this driver performs as well as it claims at least right we've drove off on uh, 17 and again found the fairway just where i was aiming i'm swinging the club quite nice it's an interesting fact actually when i hit the green on 17 i've not really missed a fairway today and uh, i question the validity of reviews when all you're doing is hitting fairways because clearly i'm swinging quite well right now but then i suppose every other person that does reviews right now is a pga professional and generally doesn't hit a bad ball anyway so there you go well, I certainly uh, have been impressed with, let's say, my performance with the club today in hand. We're going to see if we can find one more fairway on 18, and then I'll give you my overall. I've not even talked about the way these things look at a dress, which is very good, by the way. It's a great finish they've got, and uh, they've just done this really, really well. Now, don't let me down on 18, and... You see the big high ball flight. We're right in the middle of the fairway. I mean, I feel quite uh, pleased that I've not let myself down. You know, it's a 230, 220, 230 yard drive with very little effort into another fairway. I'm going to leave it there, you know, because there's not a lot else to say. At some part in the video, I said this thing ticks a lot of boxes. It looks good. It sounds and feels good. It's priced really well and it performs really well. This counterbalance shaft idea, I have no idea, but it just seems to. Uh, I was swinging nice and easy, as I've said throughout the whole video. The ball speeds in that club face, the double rebound or whatever it is, I forgot, dual rebound face now, the claim that they make in terms of the marketing. It just performs well. I don't really matter, I suppose, what they say. Ultimately, how did it perform? Really, really good. So you can see I'm borderline impressed and surprised at the same time. But Cleveland, for me, is probably the brand of 2022 in terms of they produced a line of product which each one of them has been really, really top quality at a real good price point. So for that, I applaud them. Right, as ever, let me know. Like I said, this isn't new to market, so many of you will have tried it or perhaps got it in the bag. So let me know what you think in the comment section below and help point your fellow golfers in the right direction when they're uh, considering perhaps buying one of these things. Right, as ever, thanks for watching. I clearly overdress because it's a glorious, uh, we'll call it autumn day, and I'm ready for a drink. See you later.